guys, let's enter the basement Dino Dungeon. Today we have plenty of cool stuff, okay? Ultra realistic real FX Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. We also have a Jurassic Park Advent Calendar with 24 surprises over here, which is really cool. We have a brand new epic evolution figure which is known as the Gribosaurus. We'll take a look at all the different species of the medium-sized dinosaurs, plenty of new minis. We'll do a revisit of the Amber collection as well, okay? Plenty of new stuff. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the Basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today is Saturday which means we have the most epic video of the week with plenty of new stuff to unbox and we'll take a look at a lot of different collections, okay? Are you guys ready? Let's begin! Alright guys, just check this out. Plenty of cool stuff, okay? So the first figure, let's have a look at this new species which is known as Gribosaurus right here. And it is also from a new line which is known as Epic Evolution, okay? Which I'm pretty excited about because there are actually plenty of other new figures right here which we can't wait to receive them, okay? So let's get this out of the box. We'll be scanning this one as well, so hang on for a second. Okay, just cut this loose. You guys can actually download your free app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. It's basically known as Jurassic World Facts app, okay? So right here, we have our Gribosaurus, which is a dinosaur discovered in Brazil, okay? It basically was from the Triassic period, and the name actually means Gwyber Lizard, okay? Very cool. Oh, it actually comes with a movable neck. Not too sure how it actually works. Let's try this. Do we like move the legs? Okay, let's try and move it. I'm not too sure how this works. We've got to figure this out, okay? Let's have a look at this. Okay, perhaps it has a button. Does it have a button? Okay, you have to press the body down, I guess. Oh, there you go. So it basically works a little bit like the Raw Strikers. Very cool. I like it a lot. It doesn't have any sounds, which is actually, you know, I prefer that to be honest. Okay, so here it's the new scan code for you guys to scan in FX app. Just pause the video and scan it right in, okay? I have my application right here. So let's scan this together. All right, let's try this. Okay, hopefully it is in because this is actually a new figure. Okay, maybe my app is not updated yet, which is why we don't have the information, but that is fine. You can actually update your application, okay? So, very cool, okay? Later on, we'll take a look at a different species of the medium-sized figures right here, okay? We'll take a look at every single one of them because right now, we are going to take a look at our next item, which is the Advent Calendar right here. So let's open this. All right, this is basically the latest 30th Anniversary Advent Calendar, which means you should actually open this box, you know, one window on its own, one day at a time, starting from December all the way until Christmas. I'm not too sure whether we'll be getting any new figures, but let's open this. Let me get a box cutter. All right, just gonna cut like a little slit right at the back. All right, I've done the little cut. So I'm just gonna rip this plastic film open. It's very exciting. I haven't opened an advent calendar for over a year. Yes, because Christmas is coming. And yes, Christmas is coming. Do get yourself a chunky. Yep, our very own Dan Surprise merch, okay? Which is available at dansurprisestore.com Alright, alright, so let's open this. Let's begin by opening window number one. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so what have we got? A Dimetrodon, which I think it's more or less the same as the previous one, okay? Let's open five windows before we proceed to the next item, okay? So let's open number one, and where's number two? We have to discover it. It's right here. Number two is right here. It's kind of fun. 
Number two, it's basically like a little worker. And it's kind of like stuck right here. Okay, let's get it out. I'm trying to rescue it. I can't seem to get it out, guys. It is totally stuck inside. Oh dear. Let's try this. I'm trying my best. I can't even grab his hand. All right, I finally got it out. So this is basically the park worker. Very cool. Let's place this one right here. And let's proceed to number three. This little window. Oh, it's a new galley mimers. I don't think we have this galley mimers in this color. It looks very cool. Galley mimers is basically known as the chicken mimic. So we are on. We are at number three. So let's try to find number four. Where's number four? It's right here, guys. So let's open this. And we have a Velociraptor, which is like a, you know, I think it's a new color. I'm not too sure. It seems to be a very nice color, turquoise color. And now let's open box number, window number five, right here. Window five is pretty big. Oh, okay, we've got an Ankylosaurus, which we already have in this color scheme. Okay, very nice. So let's put this one right here. I think the next item I want to open up, it's basically the real FX Tyrannosaurus Rex. We actually have, you know, the blue version right here. So have you guys seen this before? Let me just try and turn this on. Yep, this is a very nice puppet figure. Okay, you can actually make the eyes blink. Very, very cool. All right. So right now, we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex version, which I think should be more or less the same. But let me just get this over here. Very nice. So Tyrannosaurus Rex, Jurassic Park, Real FX Baby T-Rex. Let's take a look at the back of the box. It's pretty big, I would say. Wow, it looks pretty exciting. Okay, live like sounds, I think you have to press the tongue. All right, so let's open this up. All right, guys, let's get this baby T-Rex out from the box. Let's just cut the strings loose. If you're using a scissors at home and if you are a kid, please be really careful or have the parents to assist you. That will be even better. Cause sometimes even I cut myself when using tools like, you know, scissors and even box cutters. So you have to be really careful. So, yep, we've got the baby T-Rex out of the box, which is awesome. Okay, there's a little cardboard right here. So let's get this out. So it looks very small, much smaller than blue. Let's do a comparison. Okay, so check this out. This is basically blue, baby blue, and this is baby T-Rex. I feel baby blue, it's longer. Yeah, the tail is definitely longer. And the baby T-Rex has a shorter tail. And it feels lighter as well. So you can see this part basically simulate. Okay, there's another band right here. Let's get this out. Okay, very, very cute and adorable baby T-Rex. So you can see this part is basically your hand. So you slot it right in, like this. Okay, let's see whether there's a switch. Or should we just press it? Let's try. I think we have to put batteries in first. All right, it is ready, okay? I've just placed the batteries in and it is super new and super fresh. Let's try this, okay? First button. Wow, it basically opens up the jaw, so good boy or good girl. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try the other button at the side. Okay, it actually tilts the neck upwards and closes the eyes. Very cute. Let's try this button. Okay, this button basically, you know, closes the eyelids, which is kind of cool. Okay, I like this button. Very cool. So this is basically the new Real FX Baby T-Rex. We can actually do skits 
with this and blue i'm pretty sure okay let me just try this all right guys meet baby blue and baby t-rex let's try this okay that's cute very very cute so they can actually be our mascot for the next video let's try this next time very very cute hey blue what is the most favorite food what pigs are you serious okay I i'm not too sure because I've actually seen Velociraptors chasing the pigs in one of the Jurassic World movies So I suppose they like pigs a lot And baby T-Rex, very cute, okay? So there you go, a very, very cute baby T-Rex right here Just gonna put it right over here, okay? Right over here Alright, it's time for us to continue with our advent calendar Okay, we are now at number 5. Let's try to find number 6, which is right here. We'll open 5 more before we proceed to other items right here. Okay, this one looks very cool. It is a 2 pen dactylus. I'm not too sure whether we already have this figure. Maybe not. Maybe yes. I'm not too sure. I'm going to put this right one right here. Now, let's move on to item window number 7. Let's open this. Okay, it's a stegosaurus which is basically the same as the previous one, okay? And let's move on to the next one, which is number eight, which is this little, this big window right here, number eight. This seems huge. Wow. It's a Brachiosaurus, as you can see. The Brachiosaurus, I think it's more or less the same as the previous one, but the color seems slightly different. I'm not too sure, maybe, maybe, okay? Um, so two more to go, two more to go. Number nine, where's number nine? Trying to find number nine right here, which is a pretty big piece as well. Oh, there are some gates right here. Let's get it out. Okay, it's actually a couple of them. So let's get them out. Wow. So we have, we've got like four pieces of the Jurassic World gate. So let's just pop them in. Okay, it's not easy. It's not easy, definitely. It's not easy to pop them right in. Okay, it's okay. We'll do this later on. And we'll find number 10. Where's number 10? Where's the last one that we are opening for now? Right here. Top corner, number 10. We've got another Gallimimers. I think, I'm pretty sure this is actually the same one as the previous one. Okay, so it's now time for us to take a look at some other carnivores right here. All right, so now let's take a look at five different species of carnivores right here, okay? So the first one, which we have just seen it, is basically the Guibosaurus. I love this, which is known as the Guibers lizard. Discovered in Brazil, okay? Just remember that, okay? Next, we have the Battle Damage Carrerasaurus. This figure is actually quite old. I think this is at least like three to four years ago, but still a very cool figure, okay? So that's number two. Oops. Okay, let me just try to pick them up, okay? Number three, let's have a look at this. Velociraptor. This is actually a new one. This is actually from the Danger Pack. New, new Velociraptor, basically the latest model. I like this a lot. For, so Velociraptors, you guys should know that it's known as the Swift Caesar. Next, we have the Ornithochirus right here, okay? It's not an, exactly a dinosaur, but this is a new figure. We just got this a couple of days ago. So if you have not scanned it, just pause the video and scan it in your Jurassic World Facts app. I love this figure, okay? So four different species so far. Let's have a look at this. This is basically the Strike Attack Genodex series. This is another really, really cool species. Okay, so before we take a look at more species of different carnivores, let's have a look at some minifigures that we have just obtained a couple of days back. Ultra rare Kentrosaurus, ultra rare Nasudoceratops, ultra rare 
pyro raptor right over here okay let me just place him right back we also have the ultra rare tyrannosaurus rex which is my most favorite because the color scheme just looks so awesome it is a metallic silver and it also has a splash of orange paint below its neck which is really really beautiful okay the other one that i really like is the giga giganotosaurus right here this is a new color scheme this color scheme reminds me of the previous pyro raptor okay next up let's have a look let's do a classic revisit of the amber collection let's take a look at five of them okay jurassic park velociraptor right here we have charlie okay we have blue we have delta right here okay delta we also have echo right here okay and if I'm not wrong, this is actually a male raptor. I'm not too sure, I think so. So there are actually more Amber Collection. We'll take a look at them later on, okay? Now let's head back and take a look at more species. Monolophosaurus, I like this one. This is actually a Savage Strike version. So let me just place this one right here. Tyrannosaurus Rex, a young T-Rex. This one is absolutely beautiful. And Oh my goodness, what is this? Do you guys remember what this is? I can't remember. Dacosaurus. Dacosaurus. I can't remember what does Dacosaurus mean. Is it the Dacos lizard? If you guys know, let me know down below, okay? Next up, we have our Messiacosaurus. I almost forgot about its name, Messiacosaurus. Let's go with maybe um, one more. One more. We have, what is this? Prostosuchus right here. A pretty old figure, I would say, pretty old figure. Savage Strike, beautiful, gorgeous. Let's go with two more, okay? Adiphosaurus right here, guys. Adiphosaurus, beautiful. It looks like a Dimetrodon. And speaking of Dimetrodon, I have brought the one and only Dimetrodon. Okay, not the one and only. Our one and only Dimetrodon of the day. So this is basically from the story pack that came along with Dr. Alan Grant. Okay, let's take a look at other new species, other new captive collection minifigures. Monolophosaurus, I like this a lot. This is a new species. Um, this is a Dilophosaurus, but it's not the latest one, if I'm not wrong. I brought the wrong one to show you guys, but this one is definitely a new color scheme for the Indominus Rex. So besides its usual white and grey paint, it actually has splashes of orange which is kind of cool. Okay, the next one, it's basically a new color scheme for the Therizinosaurus. I like this. I think this is from the desert biome. And here is the Dimetrodon, another new color scheme which is awesome. Okay, now let's move on and take a look at more Ambro collection. Right, so for the Amber Collection, we have a beautiful Dimorphodon, okay? A really gorgeous Dilophosaurus. Do you guys still remember the scene from Jurassic Park where the Dilophosaurus actually spat venom at Dennis Nedry? That was an iconic scene that I really, really love, okay? And this one, it's basically from another Jurassic Park movie. So the baby T-Rex was injured and um, it was actually given like a cast right here and a strap to prevent it from biting the people. Very cool. And its mommy was basically waiting outside the vehicle because she wants to retrieve her baby, her precious baby. All right, now let's move on and continue with our at run calendar, guys. So shall we just go ahead and open every single one of them i think we were at number 10 so now let's open number 11 so this one if i'm not wrong it seems to be a herrerasaurus okay so that's number 11 let's open number 12 wow gorgeous concavenator we already have this figure but you know it's kind of nice to have another one i don't mind Number 13 
it's a Velociraptor. I'm not too sure whether we have this color, but it's definitely nice to have this Velociraptor with, you know, the classic Jurassic Park color scheme. Number 14, let's try and open this box. Okay, we've got a Trociraptor Panthera. Okay, this is a beautiful one. I think we already have this figure in our collection, but that's fine. And number 15, let's open this. Oh, we've got a T-Rex. This T-Rex looks different. It looks like it has some shiny paint on it, so I'm not exactly sure. I think so. It looks different. It definitely looks very different from the previous one that we have. So I'm gonna take it as it is a different one. Okay, the number 15, let's open number 16 right here. It's kind of fun, to be honest, it's very fun. Oh, we've got like the um, little um, extension of the gate. It's very tough to get it up. Very, very tough. So, yeah, I can't get it up for now. Uh, let's open number 17, I guess. 17. Let's leave the gate inside. I've got a Triceratops. Um, I don't think we have this color scheme. This seems to be a new color variant, which is kind of cool. Okay, which is kind of cool. I'm definitely going to verify it later on at the mini shelves, that's for sure. Let's open this. Oh! This green Gallimimers is definitely a new color scheme. We don't have this in my collection. I'm 100% sure this is a new color scheme. That's awesome. So now let's proceed to number 19 right here. We've got a Pteranodon, which also appears to be a new color scheme. That's nice, that's nice. I don't think I have this, that's for sure. So now we move on to number 20, which is right here. Number 20. It's um, 20 seems to be pretty big. It seems to be huge. Oh, it's another gate. More gates right here. Yep, more gates. I'm gonna try to use a gate to pry up this gate right here. Yeah, it's really, it's really tough. It's kind of like stuck inside. Okay, not a huge fan of these gates to be honest because we have already have plenty of them. So now let's, let's move on to 21, which is right here. The Lophosaurus. Okay. The Darber Crested Lizard. Let's move on to 22. Oh, nice. Very nice. Now Pseudoceratops. Seems to be the same one. Not 100% sure. Gonna be verifying it later on. So now, now at 23. Where's 23? It's right here. It's a um, relatively small one. Ceratosaurus. Seems to be another new color scheme as well. It seems slightly different. I'm not, not exactly sure, but we definitely need to check it later on. Oh, and this one is definitely one that we have to keep. It, it looks very, very cool. The Jurassic Park gate right here. Yeah, definitely need to keep this. This is gorgeous. Okay, that's nice. So we have completed opening the Advent Calendar. So I think this is a really fun calendar for you to open. I think you have to open this on December 1st. So you got to open all the way until Christmas Eve, which is kind of cool. And on 25th, which is Christmas Day, you're able to play with the figures. Only on Christmas Day that you're able to play with the figures. I think that is the kind of suspense that, you know, you should be getting, okay? So now let's move on to other species right here, okay? Have we seen this? This, it's a Gassosaurus. This figure is kind of actually very, very rare. A lot of people were not able to find this. I think it was released in just some countries. Gassosaurus, it's basically a dinosaur that's covered by a petroleum company, which is why it's known as a Gassosaurus. Okay, just gonna try to lay everything um, as neatly as possible. Here's another one. 
Alio Ramers, which is known as a different branch. Okay, Alio Ramers, which is actually a Tyrannosaur. You can see it actually has two fingers, which is similar to the T-Rex. Okay, you're going to move this away because we need some space. The Lophosaurus, Savage Strike right here, or was it Strike Attack? I can't remember. And this one looks a little bit like the Gassosaurus. It's basically the Queemasaurus. I like this. I like this a lot. Do you guys have this in your collection? Okay, next one. It's a pretty new one known as Shinhanosaurus. It's kind of cool. I like this. It is a feathered dinosaur. Okay, one of the classic figures all the way back in 2019, if I'm not wrong. Let's try to locate the date. Let's try to find it. Um, 2020. Yep, this is actually an Ornitholeste. So this figure is about three years old. Okay, next up. What is this? Um, Austroraptor, guys, if I'm not wrong. Austroraptor. Yep, that's right. Quite a new figure. It was released earlier this year, but I think the date should be written as 20. 22 let's have a look should be right here can't really see it's really really tiny okay should be from 2022 next we have proceratosaurus okay this is a, a lizard before ceratosaurus quite an old figure as well i think i'm guessing this is actually from 2020 as well yeah, some of it has the date, but I can't really, really see. It's really... 2018. 2018 is quite some time. Five years. Five years. Okay, next up. Nothosaurus from Camp Cretaceous. This is a semi-aquatic dinosaur. Okay, not exactly a dinosaur. Semi-aquatic prehistoric reptile. Is able to live on both land and water, which is kind of cool. Okay, this one, if I'm not wrong, is the Prestosuchus, because I sometimes I forget the name. So, which is why we need our scan code. I think this is a Prestosuchus. Let's get the code out. Just give me a second while I pick up my phone, which is on the floor. Okay, let's try this. Okay, it's not scanning. Okay, yeah, gotta go. Let's see. Prestosuchus. Yeah, that's right. It's discovered in. I think this part is basically the South America. Okay, Prestosuchus. Beautiful. Let's place this one right here. Let's see what else we've got. Celarus. Extreme damage Celarus. Beautiful, gorgeous. And what do we have right here? Alephosaurus, which is quite a new one, released earlier this year. Shringosaurus, okay, not a carnivore. Okay, I beg your pardon, it's not a carnivore. Um, I like this figure a lot. You know, it looks like a very, very cool prehistoric animal. Shringosaurus. Pyroraptor, you guys should be very familiar with it. You know, you have seen it multiple times in Jurassic World Dominion. It's basically known as the fire teeth. It is bigger than a Velociraptor and it has a full body of feathers. Next, we have the upgraded version of the Herrera source. This was basically the previous version, which I think in terms of a sculpt, it is not as accurate or as beautiful looking as the latest one. The latest one is basically a savage, sorry, not savage strike, strike attack. Herrerasaurus is known as the Herreras lizard because it was discovered by a paleontologist with its last name. I mean, her last name, her, her or her, his last name was actually Herreras. Okay, and this is basically the Pianiskisaurus. If I'm not wrong, this dinosaur was discovered in, was it Poland? One of the European countries. Okay. And here we have the Ornitholeastes right here. This is not Ornitholeastes, this is actually a Trodon. Did I say Ornitholeastes for this 
perhaps I think so <laughs> I think so yeah this is the Onifdor Lestis right here okay uh, here we have an Atrociraptor very nice and this is basically Mononicus which is known as the one claw you can see it only has one claw on each of its wing wings okay and Moros Intrepidus Danger Pack quite a nice one a new color variation and I have one which is on the floor just give me a second while I'll walk over and pick it up we have the Ocillarus okay so just now I've shown you guys the upgraded version the new version this is actually the new version and this is the basically the older version syllabus okay and speaking of amber collection let me bring you guys over here for the amber collection we still have a couple of the humans we have pteranodon we have the morphodon dr in malcolm dennis nadri we have dr ali settler we have dr john hammond um and i can't remember the guy this guy's name and this is um basically Maldun and you have Grady right here okay what's the name of this um oh dear I can't remember and a couple of um you know compies right over here yep that's right so this is basically our amber collection okay and right here is basically the Hammond collection and speaking of Hammond collection I'm hoping to get the Colonel Taurus Hammond Collection figure really soon. Uh, and I think some people has already gotten it, but not me. You know, I'm living in Singapore, so it's quite hard for me to get it, okay? So that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, okay? So yeah, make sure you get your own, very own limited edition Tyrone the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is a dance surprise. You can see it, it has its logo right there, which is a dance surprise exclusive merch. Only available at dancesurprisestore.com. Okay, so make sure you get yours. Only 100 of them are being made. They are almost sold out. It's made of very, very high quality material. Only at $29.90 each, but the shipping is expensive because I'm actually shipping it from Singapore. So if you guys want to support the channel, just purchase this and all of the proceeds will actually go into a charity foundation in singapore to help up um the orphans in singapore okay so yep i'm hoping to give back and make sure you get yours and yeah i will be sending a little note for every order a little letter for, um in every order okay so i hope that you guys like this okay so i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye